Tonight, the fight over the controversial I-77 toll lanes heating up once again. Opponents of the project are holding their breath tonight, feeling like they could be on the verge of a major victory. An amendment working its way through the legislature right now might open the door not to stopping the project, but at least keeping one of the new lanes in each direction as a free lane. It also sets aside up to $300 million should the state decide to cancel or modify the project. NBC Charlotte's Rad Berkey live for us along I-77. So, Rad, give us some more details about how this all might unfold here. Well, look, the work going on that you see behind me is on track to be done by the end of the year. So opponents know their only hope is to make changes right now because even State Representative John Bradford admits that stopping it all together just isn't going to happen. I don't see that being a likely outcome. I, I think what's going to happen is, you know, based on the advisory group's recommendation that there's going to be a modification. John Bradford is talking about the I-77 toll lane advisory panel that recommended making one of the two new toll lanes in each direction a free lane. County Commissioner Pat Cotham was a member of the panel that wanted to find a compromise. We didn't want any managed lanes, <laughs> but we were trying to give them something to show that, you know, we'll meet you halfway. You know, meet, you, meet us halfway. But here is the catch. Any changes would likely result in fees or fines that would have to be paid to the contractor, perhaps millions of dollars. The new amendment being pushed by Representative Bradford would set aside highway trust fund surpluses to pay any of those fines. But even Bradford admits it's impossible to say how this might play out and would the courts have to get involved. But because... We don't know how this is going to go. We don't know, you know, what the negotiations of a contract change or modification will look like. So the big mystery here is when will it happen and how much will it cost? Pat Cotham, though, says it's better than the alternative that's already playing out as the massive toll lane project approaches completion. And it's going to affect the economy of our state as well as affect the lives of the people in North Mecklenburg. Their quality of life is definitely diminished. So again, a ray of hope for the opponents of this big project. I reached out to I-77 Mobility Partners in charge of the construction here to ask for a comment. They did not return my call. Live along I-77, Rad Berkey, NBC Charlotte. Be interesting to see what happens, Rad. Thank you.